Hello my friends, I welcome you all to the Creative Thinkers Hub channel. Today we are going to be seeing that how we could work with perspective in Coral Draw. So we have downloaded some images in Coral Draw and uh, they have one point, two point and three point bird's eye and three point uh, worm's eye. Yeah, and so this is how it's going to be. So let's start. This is the artwork. We start with the most common that is two point. Okay, let's get to two point. And then we come here and this is what you are going to get. Now what is this? This is your uh, this is your vanishing point or the horizon. Okay. So this is the horizon. These two are the vanishing points and this is what we are going to do. So we are setting it up higher because we are creating a building kind of a thing. Now this is my line opacity, this is my density of lines. So if I did 25, so it will be 25% more dense. Okay, I would want to keep it at 15 only. Okay, then this is also the, uh, whether I want to view the lines or no, this is the horizon, horizon line. And these are the different planes. So the left plane, right plane, top plane and orthopedic. Okay, so let's lock this. Always is best to lock it so that it doesn't move all by itself. Now we'll try and create this. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's take it in Coral Draw. Okay, so we take it in Coral Draw, we pay, place it here. So don't worry, it's not going into any perspective right now. So we take our left and we create this. Then, so once you're done with the sizing, then you click on the right and create this. It's as simple as this. Okay. All you need to do is keep clicking on the right uh, perspective button. Okay. That which perspective you want to draw in. So now we are making the windows. This is what it is. And you can copy paste this way also. And this is our coding. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see that they have done this shadow type thing. So let's try and make that. So for that, first we go into our right because we are drawing along the right line, uh, sorry, the left line. Okay. Then we go on top because we may have to make that top part. Now uh, this always the top is a little tricky. Okay. Now uh, this is what it is. We fill it. And now these colors that they have got, we just give them some random colors. So this is going to be lighter, this is going to be darker, okay, because it's in the shaded area. And let's say our building is um, gray. I will cut this and you trim it. So this is where it will be inside. So it's as simple as that, okay. So this is done. Let's try and put this here. See, now why is it not going? Because we are copy pasting. You can't copy paste in perspective. Okay. What you need to do is take this here and resize it. You will have to resize it. Okay. So you can drag and then right left click. If you do copy paste, it's not going to work. Okay. So we align these also in the right way and give them a no fill. Now this is complete. Okay. So we just let that be because the windows are going to be that way only. Now make the bottom also. Everything is done. Why not make the bottom? Okay. Same way we have to make it black. Come here. Sorry. See. Now that's what happens when you are in the wrong perspective. Okay. And trim it. And we are done. Cool. So this is how your other window will also look. I'm not getting into there because we have to cover all the four different perspectives. Okay. So I'm going to kind of rush through it 
but show you the main parts now what we are going to do is create this outside see we have not got into any perspective we are creating it outside okay so we weld this and then now copy paste it and we are going to make these dome type windows okay so we take them here copy paste it and then put it go into your left uh, align and then you put them here see now this is the issue that it makes so what you need to do in this uh, i haven't done it i'm i prefer to uh, work on this on resizing but another option that you have is get it as close as possible to your destined object and then give it that i want to fix it to left right perspective okay so you will get it as close as possible to that okay this is done now let's create this line okay and align them so this is another way in case you have got an error like or created things uh, differently like i have right now this is the best so i i purposely made this mistake so that uh, you know you know that you know if there is a problem where we could go okay so you could even create fictional lines like that or even better don't fill color in the block automatically those blue lines will be seen through and therefore you will get a judgment now this is the tricky part see what happens to a busier tool i have not curved it but it is curving on its own okay in this so you have to straighten the line and then give it a fill color then align it the way you want okay now get into the orthographic view and now just give these block type fills and give them all a different color so this is how you work with perspective and get keep coming in and out of it okay so that's it fine now oops okay see this is what happens when your act object is active and you click outside it will catch that perspective so the whole block will change on its own so this is one side for the other side we do the exact opposite let's say i want to create this building on the side of this block okay so that is the behind one and this is the thing uh, this is the face of the building and this is how it will look and then obviously like how we made our windows that's how you make the front fascia and uh, you know that is jutting out and the windows and everything else so you could follow the window window uh, window drawing okay cool with that let's go to the next so i'm going to uh, just o overview we are going to create an overview of the whole thing this is of a one point now see what you get so you get this central point okay so this is done in that way okay where there is a central see once i enlarge it you will realize that the houses are merging into this central point again we take it higher and now let's do one thing come into a top view and create we are going to create train tracks okay so let's say this person created these houses we will make something different so we are making train tracks change the view to left and this is what you'll get so you'll get a huge thing because we went far enough okay we went very deep right to the center so you will get something like that okay now now see the magic this is our orthographic so this is straight okay now see the magic now once we come on top okay you can select this press control and flip it to the other end this is possible here but 
can we do the same with this no see it just won't happen no matter what you try left right any direction you go it just won't happen okay you will have to create your own new drawing again resize it and only then it will work okay now you take the alignment tool the our grid and just push it up here and take this and put this here and we are now yeah this needs some alignment cool so this is aligned and now we will make a uh, boulders between the tracks the the wooden or the metal boulders that are there the cement boulders we are making those so this is one now there is a problem with this you all saw that i didn't take it right at the so this is a best way of judging this don't make your central boulder arbitrarily okay once you have flipped that perfectly use that as your grid use the two objects on the either side of the grid as a grid press shift and push it inside press shift and push it down here okay and then pull it and take it to wherever you want to do uh, want it to be and then align this okay so now they are matching in every way possible now let's give them a color okay so this is a darker area let it be black this is uh, these three are our faces let them be of one color this three are our tops let them be of another color and this is how you make your tracks okay now let's make these houses so we take this wall see that see how it's going so i just need to keep making walls i don't need to change orthographic views in this okay i don't need to go left right because it's all converging to the central focal point that is one point okay take this weld uh, sorry trim them and now we trim this also okay so this is our roof see this is a really short way of making the roof come here again go into the fascia uh, i mean your, uh, your your simple orthographic view and this is what you get now we need to push this down there is a reason to it because the closer you go to the horizon or uh, i would say yeah the horizon point the your top view making of your top view is going to be become more and more difficult okay so you have to understand that no matter whether you are working on one point two point or three point the closer you go to the horizon your horizon line the final line making the top view is going to get more and more difficult hello i am very sorry for disrupting this particular video i'm sure you are really enjoying it but i have a special announcement that now i have started a series of webinars and in that particular series i am basically taking ahead anything or every, any kind of doubt that anyone would have let it be you know from starting with the basics of uh, the software to basically how they could transit from basic to intermediate to advanced or if you have any issues regarding how to make print files or papers or different kind of tools different kind of websites or how to work with um, even uh, prompts you know while you are working with different uh, websites i am going to create webinars on all of this if you have any kind of doubt or you want to speed up your process on creating something good and are looking for a hand holding catapult yourself really fast then please subscribe to the channel and key in your difficulty the reason why i'm asking you to subscribe is because all announcements of webinars are going to be there in the future videos and please enjoy the video further
okay now let's go on to the third again perspective and we do our bird's eye okay so we get into our bird's eye and uh, we can make it at 10 push this here let's do one thing one minute push this up okay we are making buildings again and let's make this okay and this sorry change the view yeah something like this okay so this is uh, moreover i would not say change the view that was the wrong thing change the plane now this is a footpath to our street okay shift it Okay, we want it slightly off, we don't want it matching to a vanishing point. And now this is how you make the other building. Okay, come here, push it in. And this is how it will look. Okay, this is your top. Can you see now it is easier to make the top. In this, it's impossible to make the top in the other one. Okay, the top is going to go inside because of our our horizon line is different. See, here you will be able to make all of it very well. Okay. Because it's far below the building. So, that is the most important point. Okay. Now, see, I am in the wrong view. I have to go to orthographic and then I can write birds. You seeing that? So, getting it right is the most important thing. Second, land last, I mean, the last one is worm's eye okay so we put this here and again just like how we do make increase the point and now start drawing okay you see that now this is vanishing on top this is not vanishing down we keep it on the center so that we can make a prism and the bota quite high oops i haven't locked it so remember to lock it otherwise you are vanishing point will change and if it changes after you have almost completed the whole artwork you are ruined okay you might not get your you might have to adjust all of them like how i am doing right now each and every one of them so locking your horizon is the most important thing so these are our views this is our two point this is our uh, sing single point this is bird's eye and this is worm's eye okay so this is how this thing works now let's put an image and see how this works okay so we have an orthographic view come into left come here move to plane move to your right plane okay and this is how you fit the image here so in the first one we had a banner okay so we can fit the banner in that way okay now Oh, did you see what happened? The perspective of the other page disappears once you go on to another page. So, you have to make sure you complete your object. See, this is what happens. Can you see? Now, I can't do anything. It's frozen. It's frozen for good. So, if you are working in perspective, you have to complete the whole art artwork till you go on to the next page. No matter what I do, one point, two point, let's try what happens here. Okay, we make a fictional, I mean, we don't know where the horizon was. Make it here and you will get this cross because this is an invalid horizon. Okay, so my friends, if you like this video, please like, subscribe and do not forget to share. Because only sharing increases knowledge. Thank you.